What it's doing for the people that live here, creating health problems. Residents in a Minneapolis-based community for homeless veterans are saying that a massive wood chip pile across the parking lot from their apartments is causing massive damage to not only their property, but to their health as well. And they say the worst part is nothing is being done about it. We're not asking for anything. The only thing we're asking for is free breathing space. Justin Hardwick and Rochelle James have a lot in common. Both served in the military, both experienced homelessness, both are getting their lives back on track at the Upper Post Veterans Community near Fort Snelling, and both, like many of their neighbors, are experiencing respiratory problems. They believe chemicals and sick trees in what the Minneapolis Park and Recreation Board is calling an earthen berm are to blame. We can't have respiratory and, and, and breathing problems because we're trying to get our lives back on track. People living in the community for veterans say chemicals and odor from the berm affect the air quality, saying they can't stand outside and breathe in the air. Debris and dust resulting from the berm covers the residents' cars, chipping the exterior. And the dust is getting inside as well. Both Hardwick and James say people living in the facility can't keep the dust out of anything. You're not able to, to uh, leave food on the stove uncovered. The debris chips chips the paint off of the, the vehicles. And so you have it, small indentations, um, pitted surface. It's causing a lot of damage. James says she reached out to the Minneapolis Park and Recreation Board, who oversees the berm and did not receive a follow-up as promised. Hardwick says many people have reached out to the park board, saying the facility, which used to operate as a stable for horses, has been housing veterans for over a year who have yet to see any action. If when Common Bond was doing this and, and, and the park board knew they were doing it, the park board should have started eliminating this pile because people were going to be living here. Horses are not here anymore. The Minneapolis Park and Recreation Board oversees the berm. The board told Elf News that as far as they know, the berm poses no health concerns, but did say, we do not anticipate any debris from the earthen berm or the operation of the tree debris processing. Should any damage be caused by our operation, the Minneapolis Park and Recreation Board would be responsible and cover the identified damage. Residents say they don't want to leave the veterans community, but do not want to pose further risks to their health. The park board says a new site for the berm should be available later this fall. Subscribe to Alpha News for further coverage. For Alpha News, I'm Julia Aaron.